All right guys, 2019 is shaping up to be the year that we might finally get a real AR headset. I'm the only person out here that you can trust. So first things first, we need to talk about the beloved Project North Star. Noah Zirkin just posted this video on Twitter where he has the headset running untethered and it looks awesome. He also started mass producing the lenses. So he's posted a bunch of pictures and I'll link to the website in the description. It looks like they're only $40, which sounds like a steal compared to the $200 that he says people have been quoted for them. This guy's an absolute legend and he should be celebrated. Now, I was not personally at CES this year, but from what I was able to see from my couch, AR glasses seem to have taken over. First of all, the real Max headset seems super interesting. This thing boasts 100 degree FOV and has the ability to switch between AR and VR mode. The best part, in my opinion, is this. It has a USB port that you can use for the leap motion. To top it all off, it's gonna be priced under $1,000. Now next up are these glasses from Chinese startup Enreal. These are extremely small compared to what else is out there. Apparently they are tethered to a puck, just like the Magic Leap headset, and their website indicates they do six degree of freedom tracking using SLAM, and they also have this, an SDK for Unity and Unreal. Also their puck, or toast as they call it, runs on Android, which is pretty cool. Now these only advertise a 52 degree FOV, but I mean, what do you expect? They weigh 85 grams, that's tiny. Next we have Third Eyes X2 smart glasses, which are already available for pre-order on their website. The fact that these glasses advertise a three axis gyro and accelerometer as well as Android Oreo OS support makes me think that they are utilizing AR core, but that's just a guess. The price for these comes in at about $2,000. Now, another pair of AR smart glasses that seem to be getting a lot of hype at CES are the Vuzix Blade. These come in at about $1,000 and they have a touchpad on the right side of the glasses reminiscent of Google Glass. Fortunately, we've been doing some Android dev on this channel lately because these also run on Android. These glasses have a companion app available for iOS as well as Android, and they even have a companion app for the Amazon Alexa. On a more somber note, it looks like at least two big AR startups have shut down as of late. Next Reality News reported that AR startup Meta is done after failing to secure a $20 million funding round. The option to buy the device is no longer on their website, and Dell, who was supposed to be their first major reseller, does not seem to have the product listed either. Also, Blipper seems to have shut down as of mid-December. They raised north of 130 million, but ended up going under as they failed to secure the additional funding they needed to reach profitability. So anyway, I finally graduated college and I can make YouTube videos again, so that means we're bringing back the community feature. Since nobody's sent me anything, I'm gonna choose my own this month, and that is Troy Perry. If you've not seen any of his stuff on YouTube or Instagram, definitely check him out. I still need to ask him how he did this mocap stuff in Unity, because this stuff looks amazing. So definitely check his stuff out. And also, I saw this demo on Twitter the other day. This seems very interesting to me, and I'm planning on doing the next video on making something like this, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. So that's all I got for today. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in the next video. And with that... I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.